Actually, no. It's a, actually it, there isn't because the FSA is not a thing with qualities. It is, in fact, simply a way of talking about something that happens. And that happening is this quality of involvement, this quality of separation, of uh, this quality of being a independent uh, source of things. All of these, the, so all of these qualities happen. And so to describe this happening, I have, I coined the phrase, the false sense of authorship. And um, try and remind everybody from time to time that there actually is no such thing. It is simply a description of something that happens. And its usefulness is primarily in directing your attention to this quality within yourself. The sense that I am the source of things, that I am responsible for things. And um, to see this happening, I often direct people to um, a sense of guilt or shame that arises. The sense that I shouldn't have done something. And it's so the, the sense of guilt is a, a palpable ex experience that we can point to. And say, okay, I feel guilty. It's it's in it's here. I, I feel that. Okay. Now that experience of guilt can then be followed to ultimately the source, but through the sense that I could have and should have acted differently in a specific instance. Because you're guilty about something. If you're guilty about something, there is the feeling of guilt, but it's tied directly to something. And so we look at that something and say, okay, that something, what makes that something a trigger of guilt for you? What, how is it that you feel guilty about that? Well, you feel guilty about it. If you look into it, you may find that you feel guilty about it because there is a sense that I was the source of that thing. I, I, I made that happen. I could have and should have done that thing differently or not done it at all or whatever. And so this is a this is a palpable thing to look at. Say, okay, is this true? I have this feeling I could have and should have done this differently. Is that true? And so again, the this affords the opportunity to look more deeply into that sense. To investigate if it is true and you may well begin to look at what factors were involved in that particular act taking place and if you can begin to see how that particular act the one you feel guilty about the one that you say that i could have and should have done differently if you begin to look deeply into it, you may begin to see how that act is actually connected to a whole host of causes or influences that were outside of your control. And as you do that, it becomes clearer and clearer that your action was ultimately, quote, not your action in the sense that you were not the source of the action. You were the instrument of the action. And, you know, others were hurt by the action. You 
feel badly about being the instrument of, of that action. All of that still is, is in, in play. But that quality of claiming that I was the source of it may diminish. And in the diminishing of that, the suffering associated with that diminishes. So is it fair to say whenever there's a claim <clears throat> on happenings, I did this, or there's actually just the sense that still I'm in this position that things are happening through my own agency independently. <coughs> mm -hmm. Is it is it fair to say even if it's not guilt oriented or something, there's always a sense of suffering? Well, there's a, not a, necessarily a sense of it, but a seed of it. Yeah. Pride is uh, yeah. the, the sense that I was responsible for this good thing. Mm -hmm. And most people don't suffer directly from pride. Mm -hmm. When you, you feel prideful about something, it feels pretty good. Sometimes Say, you're hey, for it. Yeah. Hey, I, I mean, I feel... Pretty hot today, <laughs> you know. <clears throat> Did this good stuff, you know. I helped this, all those people. And I, you know, I and uh, I got everybody appreciates it, and, and it's all a good thing. And and I'm pretty good, you know. That that is the flip side of the guilt. But the point is, if you remember our yin yang symbol. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that within the white half of the yin yang symbol is the whole of the opposite. Right. So the guilt is there when you have the pride. And it will manifest itself out of the pride. It's simply the nature of things. And so. You don't necessarily experience in that moment suffering associated with with pride, but the suffering is is the seed of it is there. Mm 